Guess <laughs> what, so I'm high on this, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't take my medication today, and you know what? The best part about that, ladies and gentlemen, is I get to make some gaming content because I haven't made video game stuff in a while. Now, you know, a lot of channels would make standard video game footage and call it a day, and you know, I'm not, I can't do that. Okay, I can't just play a video game and let's play it and call it a day. So for me, I wanted to go an extra step further, ladies and gentlemen. What if I told you GTA Five is so god darn old? that you can actually emulate it at this point pretty reasonably well. Now, there's a few reasons why you may want to emulate GTA 5. For instance, the game on Steam is like 108 gigabytes. Maybe you want to save like 80 gigabytes, 85 gigabytes, and just play the single player. That might be a reason. The other thing is, why not? Okay, it's your God-given right. Now, as you all know, I'm a game emulator lover, game preservation enjoyer. So for me to have a copy of the game completely preserved for the end of time is great, okay? I don't need to rely on Rockstar Social Club servers. I don't need to rely on my IP address constantly being leaked. If I just want to play the single player, I can just do it. And I figured, why not? Now, for those of you who don't know, back in the day there was the console war. I guess it's still a thing. Xbox wishes PlayStation. But today we've got the emulator war. Oh yeah, Xenia versus RPCS3. So ladies and gentlemen, right over here I've got RPCS3, the emulator. Now if, you have, if you've noticed, I've got Red Dead Redemption and GTA 5. Now both these games I've installed simply because I want to replay Red Dead Redemption. Uh, I'm too lazy to plug in the Xbox One and I'm way too lazy to plug in the PlayStation 3. So I figured, just emulate it. So today I've got a computer running Arch Linux, Windows 11 virtualized, a PlayStation 5 controller being fed as an Xbox 360 controller, and the PlayStation 3 version of GTA 5 being upscaled to 4K. What is my life? I don't know. But of course, here we've got uh, GTA 5. Now, of course, to show you how far emulation has gotten, the uh, amount of configuration one can do is massive. So, for instance, right over here, I had to change a few settings. I had to go to the GPU. I basically forced the game up to 300% the original resolution. I want you to remember, GTA 5 ran at 720p back in the PS3 era, okay? Now it's been upscaled up to like 4K through internal resolution modifications. Now, I also had to change resolution scaling to 128 by 128. I gave myself FSR upscaling, which is AMD's, you know, uh, full, what is it, like full uh, size resolution. Uh, basically, it's their upscaling mechanism. I gave myself asynchronous shaders, right color buffers, and asynchronous texture streaming. I also had to go to debug and make sure Z-Cull occlusion queries were enabled. I had to go to advance and make sure all of this setup was done and ready to go. If I didn't change the RSX FIFO accuracy to atomic and the accurate RSX reservation access on, the game kept freezing. Yeah, emulation isn't perfect. Point is, there's a lot of modifications one can do. But anyways, I think that's enough. I also forced the frame rate up to 60. Let's close and let's hit start. All right, here it is, boys. The game is going, pre-cache shaders and everything. Now I wanna show you how wild things can actually get in this game. So as you're loading this up, because we're running this off of an SSD, it actually loads the game so fast. It's kind of insane. Just look at it real quick. Let me just expand the window. So here it is, it builds up the cache. You won't even see the loading screen. It actually loads up that fast. Like it gives you the introduction video, yeah. So you got, you got the five stars? Hell yeah, dude, let's go. Come on. Uh, it's kind of stuttery because I've upped the uh, frame rate like double or something, I'm pretty sure. But here we've got like the disclaimer. Use of the software subject to in-game manual. I'm pretty sure I'm breaking everything in the ULA, okay? Here it is, it just loaded! <laughs> There's not even a loading screen, you don't even finish it, the game just gets in! Now, of course, if you look at it, it runs up to 60 frames. Currently, it's around 30 to 60. And uh, obviously, that's because emulating it can be annoying. Now, to tell you guys something, it's not your graphic card that matters. So, for instance, here in the emulation, you can see that I'm only using around 50% of my graphic card. And that's the game running at 4K 60. Obviously, it would be a lot less if I just ran the game at 720. What matters is the CPU, okay? So for instance, I'm hovering somewhere around 50% on a Ryzen 9 5950X. So obviously there's some virtualization overhead, but also emulation can be taxing. So that's all you pretty much have to know. So let me get into the car and just do one mission. And if you look into the bottom left, you'll see that it's, ah, oh, turn off the copyrighted music. If you look into the bottom left, you can actually see that the game has compiling shaders. So every time you see these graphical bugs, 
it's because their shaders being compiled. So you typically have to play through the game once if you want a completely smooth, stutter-free experience the second time around. But given that GTA V is an open world game, obviously to render every shader would require you to see everything possible in the game, which just isn't as easy. Now, of course, running around, yeah, this is GTA V, so old, by the way, Rockstar, that you can now emulate your game and there's not even a sixth one. <laughs> I guess I'll do this one uh, introduction. I had to play through the prologue because I didn't want to just like do the prologue. I wanted to see if the game would actually be more playable and it actually does seem to be the case. You know what's really wild is the traffic in the game isn't even as bad as I was gonna think. Yeah, like the PS4 and the PC version and like the PS5 version now has like better visuals, but like even the original PS3 version at 1.0, this because remember, this is without patches. It's pretty good. Now, of course, in the bottom left, if you look at it, the map is like the classic, like, rectangular map, not like the new one with like the uh, edges sort of like faded out or occluded. Yeah, this is really well good. This is like. This holds up, man. <laughs> the traffic is pretty much there. All right, let's go over here. Let's get into the. Oh! Man, the stutter ruined it, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the stutter caused that. Yeah, see, like, every time you'll see, like, a graphical issue, it's because, like, we are literally loading in sections of the game that the game has never seen. So you need a shader for all of that. Man, I'm just, I'm just actually so blown away by it. Like, even if there are graphical issues, the fact that the traffic is there, the NPCs are walking around on a 1.0 build of the game? Emulated is just baffling to see. Like, I know this might not be impressive to some people, but remember, you're emulating a PS3 game. And PlayStation 3, like, the, the thing about emulation is obviously GTA 5 is not an important emulation, but, like, games like Metal Gear Solid or, like, uh, you know, any PS3 exclusive might be the most important one. But also, like, just in terms of accuracy, it's good to see everything being as preserved as possible. I actually like the dialogue over here. Hold on. Because this is where we're going to actually get into some gun battles. Oh, that dude's a pothead. That dude's like a... <laughs> oh my god, what happened to his NPC ragdoll? I think that bug. Jesus Christ. Now here we go, we've got NPCs, we got the Vagos. And then we gotta get over here and grab the actual... Um, we gotta just open up the garage door and the gunfight begins. Yeah, even, like, the original PS3 detail isn't that bad, man. Like, this is really, really surprisingly well done. Like, yeah, actually, like, obviously I've been playing the PC version of the game now, but, man, I gotta say, like, it definitely holds up really well on this last generation. Like, Rockstar Games did a lot with the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. Which, also, you can emulate this game on the Xbox 360. You wanna open up this garage door because you get, like, a free set of armor. Obviously, like, uh, yeah, there it is. Obviously, like, Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, like, this is towards the tail end of its life cycle. So, obviously, developers knew a lot more about each system, but it's still impressive to see, man. Like, Christ. And I can only be excited for, like, GTA 6 whenever it comes down. Here it is, boys. Oh, stutter. So, you trying to creep up in here, man? Yeah, you saw this motherfucker? Oh, shit. That's some cold-blooded killing there, G. You didn't even, like, stop to think. Right, let's grab that gun. Right, so we got a firearm. Switch out to the pistol. Hell yeah. Even the UI is so different on the on the original PlayStation 3. Look at that. Right, get that shot right there. Oh, my God. I don't even think that... I don't even think they have this, like, hit marker in the new versions of the game. Alright, let's go over here, take this cover. There's gonna be an explosion up here, I just wanna see this. Oh, uh, boom! Wow, that explosion still looks good, even by, like, PS3 standards! Pro that's probably, like, actually pre-baked, though. Uh, pop that. Mm. Oh, should they even have destructible elements like that? That's crazy. There's, like, little details in the game that are just so well done. Oh, there it is. Gas can't clone. Uh, wait, where's the uh, gas? There it is. He's gonna blow up. And wait, there's gonna be the bike up there. I've done this mission so many times. He's gonna pop up there. He's gonna pop up. Man, we only came here for a bike. Boom! I thought it was gonna auto-target. <laughs> no, it was not. 
Wait, is he still alive? No, he's dead. Wait, hold on. No, he's dead. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah. Oop, ra radio off, radio off, radio off. Look for some transport. Ah! Oh shit, Lamar? Yeah, he's alive. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is actually really, really well handled. Like, Jesus Christ. I mean, I was kind of expecting the game to be crashing. So yeah, here it is. You're starting to see like the shader issues. So I have it set to like shader interpreting. Before I did that, the game just had this like weird black like overlay the entire time. Like it was just like spazzing out on the screen. But with like interpretation, like it, what it's doing is it's loading like a like a like an interpreted shader, like what it thinks should be there, and then it like loads it in once it's compiled. So it kind of gets rid of some of the visual issues. Obviously, it's not perfect. But, like, nobody expected it to be. The last time I ever emulated this game, like, seven months ago, it crashed all the time, and the audio was so bad that randomly, out of nowhere, you would just hear, like, these sharp, loud pains that would just blow your eardrums out. So that I've not heard so far. I was kind of scared right there that the game crashed. Oh, my God. Every time, every time you stutter, like, I think the game is going to crash on me. But so far, it's been a pretty stable experience. But everything, yeah, last time I emulated this game, it wasn't this smooth or this, like it wasn't running like this. But now we're at a point where like, I think if I play through the game hard enough, I might be able to completely reach the credit screen, which is something I'm gonna try to do. Like obviously I'll post it to social media just as a proof that you can reach the credit screen, which I think is really important for an emulation test. Like obviously in order to test if this is even playable, play it all the way through. Otherwise, like you never know halfway into the game, maybe by the time you get like to Polito Bay, it might actually start crashing. So you never know. But yeah, otherwise, the game runs absolutely well, and it saves, it does everything here. Yeah, this is just GTA V, the PS3 version, <laughs> running perfectly underneath an emulator. I mean, reasonably perfectly, given everything that, given, given how wild and insane this nonsense is. Now, obviously, GTA Online is not going to work for this, simply because uh, GTA Online is dead for the last generation systems, nor would you expect any form of that connectivity to work on, like, an emulator either, so... This is purely for people who are playing around on the single player. It's so insane seeing the amount of traffic in this game still work. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, like, even just driving... Yeah, so, like, I've literally just come to this area in, like, like the, the Rodeo section of the game, and it's, like, absolutely, like, causing graphical issues. But yeah, here you can see, like, the actual amount of NPC traffic and, like, vehicle traffic. Like, yeah, look at that. That's, like, straight-up full-on vehicle traffic going on. There is one thing that was causing issues, and I want to see if that even works anymore in this game the right way. Which is like the, um, uh, which is the, which is like jumping into the water. They used to absolutely break the game's visuals, and I want to see if that actually works now, given some of the fixes to the emulation. So let's go all the way down there. I grab the, uh, I grab the Bugatti in the game, the Adder Trophy or whatever, and then uh, we'll get all the way down. Yeah, like look at that. The highway actually has like a good amount of traffic. It, it's just like I, I remember when the PS4 version of the game came out, and they were like hyping up the amount of traffic or whatever that went on. Um, Granted, there's a lot of it in that game, and the PS5 and the PC and the Xbox One versions, but, like, this ain't too bad, brother. <laughs> this this hey, ain't too bad. All right, let's go over here. Let's get down to the pier here. There's, like, actually, yeah, here's where you start to see, like, no tra And things are actually popping in now. Like, the shaders are loading in. Uh, there's, like, maybe one NPC on the road here. Okay, there's a few of them popping around. And, uh, oh no, it, I, I, th I think it might be broken. Look at that. <laughs> okay, the, the water shaders are kind of, oh, whoo, this ain't good. Oh, this ain't, oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. It's like on the right angle. <laughs> the, the, oh, sh oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, it's busted. Wait a minute. Let, look at it. It's a moment of truth. It, what, what is down below? <laughs> Oh no! Wait a minute, wait a minute, actually... Actually, wait, wait, what? <gasps> oh, oh my god. You know what? That's not the worst. That actually is a lot better than I remember it, Jesus Christ. I mean, it's not perfect by any stretch. But like, damn. It used to, it used to like, absolute, like, like, you see that blue flickering? It used to be way worse. Hold on, get down, get down, get down. Now you can actually like go underwater and like swim around. Like before that, the water used to be like no man's land. Look at that weird fuzzy nature above, Jesus. Yeah, as soon as you cross it, no, 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 no. 
I don't even think I see any, like, yeah, the, the water reflections and everything are totally broken. What you are missing is, like, that shader on top of the water, where, like, uh, you can see, like, the actual, like, the, 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 the top layer of the water is missing, so you get rid of that entire visual effect. Right now, it's like I'm swimming through blue hell sludge. All right, come on, get onto one of the speedophiles here. Let's see if we can actually, uh, oh, no, 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 no. Wait, actually, not not the not the worst. It's playable. It, like if you want to go through epilepsy, it's it's kind of playable. Yeah, I mean, like it, this is oh oh no 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 no. You know what? I take that back. I, I take I take it all back. <laughs> Wait, what? Do we, can we just leave the water? Okay, the, once you leave the water, everything's better. <laughs> everything's so much better once you leave. Oh, dude, I can sign up for a cult in an emulator. $200 to the children of the mountain. Hell yeah, submit that, baby. Let's go. What is this? You click on the letters to reveal insightful words. Wait. Oh, divine, dumbass. Come on now. It's divine, brother. I'm not even gonna try, man. You can keep the $200. It's over. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, again, like in the beginning of the video, uh, should one attempt something like this? Yeah, if you got the computer hardware, why not, ladies and gentlemen? GTA 5 is so old, it can be emulated. Yes, yes indeed. So yeah, if you want to somehow play the PlayStation 3 version of the game after all these years, well, at least I can say, reasonably given all we've played, it's pretty damn preserved. Now, of course, I'm going to play through the game again on the emulator and give you a full Muda-approved thumbs up if it actually reaches the credit screen, which I think it will. But, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to back off. I got a Microsoft lawsuit to cover for tomorrow. This is me, Mudahar, and if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it. I am out.